The single color criteria set is automatically created when you define a criteria set with one color. Naturally all the blue surfaces are included in this set. To add an entity to a single color set, you can either simply color it in the right color, or you can use the apply color functionality. To use this tool, select the surface you want to color. Move the mouse cursor over the set tab, click the right mouse button and select the apply color option. This will change the entity's color and they will be automatically assigned to this set. The color of the set can be easily changed to any color. Click on the color rectangle beside the set name and select the color you want. Once the color is changed, all the entities belonging to this set will also change. If you don't want the color of the set entities to be changed when changing the set's color, go to the Sets tab in the Preference Editor and select Don't Change Color option. The name of the single color set can be shown while moving the mouse cursor over an entity belonging to it. To do this, activate the Present Single Color Set Name. Move the mouse cursor over a colored entity and the set's name to which this entity belongs will appear. To show you one of the advantages of using the single color sets, let's create a 2.5 axis procedure for creating the light blue pockets in this part. The pocket's geometry for machining is easily selected when it is defined using the single color criteria set. The single color sets also makes adding geometry to the procedures easy. Here we are adding another pocket to our procedure just by coloring its walls in light blue using the apply color option. Since the geometry is selected using by criteria and includes a single color set, Symmetrony automatically takes into account any geometry that is added to this criteria for the calculation of the procedure. As you can see, the system automatically adds this geometry to the calculation of the procedure and creates the toolpath for it.